It's Kat here and today I'm going to be showing you how to knit a panel on your Centro knitting machine. You will need some yarn that you want to use and then some waste yarn in a contrasting colour. Waste yarn is just another yarn in a different colour to your main yarn that will be discarded at the end of the project. Number one is to make sure your machine is on the panel setting. You don't want it on the tube setting because then your hooks will go all the way around and you don't want that. You want them to go back and forth. Then turn the handle on your machine until it stops before the white peg. Don't know if you can see this but the peg after the white peg is number one there are 48 pegs on this machine and there is a number on every peg number three to cast on with our waist yarn we're going to just weave from stitch one around every other stitch number four making sure the yarn is under all of these markers i'm going to do about 25 stitches across here just to show you when you are happy with the length of your panel you want to put your yarn through this first tension gauge which is this part here and then you'll want to feed it through the tension gauge below so this is I'm going to call tension gauge number two it's got three holes as you can see you can play around with the tension I'm going to just put it through a couple of holes I'm gonna really slowly go back the other way across every stitch you want to be really slowly at this point Then we will be back to the white peg. The machine stops here. This is because it's on the panel setting. So it's guiding you to then start the next row. So we're gonna carry on like this for about 10 to 15 rows. The panel setting does not have a row counter. So you do have to count them yourself. Just make sure you've got a little bit of waste yarn on there. When you're ready to switch to your main yarn, it's quite simple. You just take your waste yarn off and put it into the middle and then put your main yarn on as you did with the waste yarn. And then just go slowly back and forth for a couple of rows before you start really going at it. <laughs> you can do as much as you like. I'm gonna knit about 40 rows here just to show you what it looks like. You can also use waste yarn at the end, which is really nice to keep the panel kind of straight. You can take it off now and it'll be fine, but I'm going to add another 10 rows of waste yarn to this one. Then you can cast off. I'm gonna take the yarn off of the tension gauge and kind of put it into the middle of the machine. Turn the handle as I usually would all the way forwards until you get to the end of the row. And then when you turn it all the way back, your yarn should just fall off. Yay, we have a panel with two colors and it looks really actually quite nice, but we're gonna take the waste yarn off by hand. We need to separate these yarns because we only want the main yarn, which is the cream color that I've got. How I do this is take the main yarn and kind of loop the yarn through like this. Then with my crochet hook, I'm going to crochet a single crochet through every loop of main yarn. When I get to the end, I'm gonna fasten off and now I can cut it off with my scissors like this. I also do this to the bottom as well and then cut the waste yarn off with my scissors and just brush off any other little bits of loose yarn that you have around. Now we have our panel. I really hope that this helped you. If you liked this video and you got something from it, then please give me a thumbs up. If you liked this video, you're gonna love this fingerless gloves video where I make fingerless gloves just like this with a couple of adjustments and also with ribbing all on the knitting machine. So I'll see you in that video. I'm never